Today I'm here with a new video and for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I do a lot of makeup related content and I'm also a cruelty free YouTuber. And today I am talking about my top 5 highlighters. I looked back <laughs> in my feed and it was like over two years ago I did a top 5 highlighters and today I'm going to do it again because things have changed. And today I decided to only take single highlighters and this was hard but I think these are my top five. Some of them I'm 100% turn off, some of them I really like them but I like forget about them. So I think we just get started. And we can start with like one cult favorite or Maybe not this color, but this brand and this type of highlighter. And it was, of course, one of Colourpop's Super Shock Chic. People raved about Flexitarian. I have it, but I love this so much more. This is Lunch Money. This is a little bit warmer than Flexitarian. And I really, really, really love this. This is one of these I like forget about and then I use it and like, yeah, okay, I love this one. So this is one of my absolute, or my top five, one of my top five highlighters. And it's just such a nice shade. I, I know that people is like, you can't say that you use one of this much because you can just move it around and it will look pretty full again, but I think I actually got a pretty good dip in this, so this one I... so good. The next one I want to talk about is one from Lethal, this is Ionic. Last year I really fell in love with Lethal and I bought this one. This is also one like I really really like but I forget to use it. I don't know why, it is a really nice highlighter, it's a little bit pinkish, that is usually not my favorite, I always say, but like when I checked my highlighters, I'm like, I got a lot of pinkish highlighters, but this is really good, it matches my pale skin so, so good, it is, I don't, it is pretty intense, but it's not too intense, it's really good and it blends into the skin amazingly. And I love Lethal for doing a mirror in this one. I'm one of these persons that love mirrors. Another one is the this one from Luna Beauty. This is in Mercury. This was kind of expensive, but I'm so happy that I bought it. I think this is the lightest shade and this is just an amazing highlighter. I often feel like I have to spray my face with setting spray to get the highlighter to sink in good. With this one, if I don't spray my face, it looks just as amazing if I would have had used setting spray. So yeah, I think if you have thought about testing a Luna Beauty highlighter, I think you should because they are really good. And I think they actually have a good like variety of colors. I don't think they have that many. But what I can remember, this is the lightest one and they have that goes darker and I just love the packaging on this one. Next up I want to talk about Kaleidos and this was hard because I have some from Kaleidos that I really, really, really love. But I was like, okay, I'm going to take one that actually is available. And uh, I have to say that the Diamond Dasher, this is so, so good. This was, I think they released this the second, if, was this together with the, not the Fresh Fantasy. I think they released this with a escape pod and this is just so, so good. It's like, it has a little bit of pink to it. Do you see? I, I apparently like pinkish highlighters, but it's not too much. And 
this is one of their highlighters that I think you can use like an everyday highlighter. It's strange for me to say that because I don't use makeup every day, but if I would, I could. And the last I want to talk about, this is, this has become my favorite highlighter of all times, I think. It used to be Nabla's Baby Glow, I still love that one, but I think this is a little bit better. I like it a little bit more. <laughs> it's also from Nabla and it's the Skin Glazing in Ozone. Nabla, they do amazing face products. This is just an amazing highlighter. And what I love mostly about Nabla's highlighters and blushes and contour shades is this is not too intense. It gives a really, really nice, like not a glow even, maybe like just, I don't know. It looks so good, but you can build this up if you want to and I think when I've used Nabla's highlighters, I feel so good and they're also the ones that you can really like see that I've used. So I've used this quite a lot. Uh, the Nabla print is gone and it has a little dip in it. But this is just an amazing highlighter. I guess that all the colors are this amazing. I feel that if you want to try Nabla, buy an eyeshadow palette and a highlighter and I think you will fall in love because I did. So yeah, this is my top and this was my top five highlighters. I have done some older <laughs> top five. I think I did blushes and red lipsticks. Maybe lipsticks formulas as well. And do you want me to do like new versions because a lot has happened in two years. I can leave my first top five highlighters up here. Just bear in mind that I have done, when I recorded that, I did... Jesus, okay. <laughs> I sound just so stupid. When I did that video, I think I did English videos for maybe a little bit over a month. So I am not that... But now I'm not good to speak English today either, apparently. But I think you can hear a difference, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, <laughs> I really hope you like this video. And if you want me to do recaps of older videos, because now I have had my channel for a while, two and a half years, around about that. So if you want me to do recap videos for videos like I did in the beginning, I would happily do that. So just let me know so I will fix that and I really hope you liked this video and please tell me your absolute top highlighter. Mine is this one. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, like this, it feels like I'm never getting my normal voice and like voice capacity back. I hate this. But yeah. <laughs> If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So I will see you in the next one. Bye.